Hello YouTubers, I'm back with a new video talking about virtualization, QEMU and passing an entire controller card, USB controller card in this case, to your virtual machines. To get started, we'll need a script that binds the controller card to a VFIO driver. That script looks like this and I will uh, put it in the video description. So we'll have to make that script executable. Chmod plus x vfio bind not sh. Now that it's executable, we'll have to call it from our initialization script. It's in the same folder, so vfio dash bind dot sh. Now we have to tell it what device needs to be bound to the VFIO driver. To find it, we run ls pci and we have USB controllers. One is here, one is right here, and that's and one more right here, one that comes with the <laughs> this one is attached to the graphics card. Yes, the the 20 series NVIDIA cards come with their own USB port. So, we can pick pretty much any of them and to see whether any of them is eligible, we can simply check the IOMMU groups. Uh, find, oh, will be super user, find this kernel IO MMU groups type L. Okay, so let's see. So this is number, we care about this one. And number three would be right here, group 13. And it's the only device there. Generally, you can try it. You don't have to run it each time, especially if it's a separate card plugged into one of the PCI Express slots. Uh, well, depending on your motherboard, but uh, try it and see whether it runs. If it doesn't or if it gives you an error, you can move it to another PCI Express slot or try another card, uh, I mean, in this case by card I mean another device on the uh, motherboard. So let's see, what about this one, 0014? That one is part of the chipset. And uh, I think it's right, is it this one? No, that's the network controller, 0014. So this particular USB controller can, well, you would have a hard time uh, passing it through to your virtual machine because it shares its IOMMU group with uh, the network controller. And what else? USB controller, oh, okay. Memory controller, okay. So yeah, <laughs> this one isn't going anywhere. But this one can definitely be passed to uh, the virtual machine. Okay, so let's do that. First, when, whenever you deal with uh, in, uh, calling scripts, you will have to, well, in this case, four zeros. You don't do it when it's part of the QEMU where initialization script. So whenever, well, I will, I will show you later. But anyway, now that we are calling our VFIO uh, dash bind dot sh, we'll have to add 0000. And now 03. So we can just basically copy this. What did I do? Let's try again. Okay. That should do it. Okay, and now let's add, so 
This calls the script and now we will add this device to our virtual machine. The reason why we call the script is to unbind it from, uh, from the driver that's in use. In case you're curious, LSPCI V kernel driver in use for this device would be the XHCI underscore HCD driver. So we have to unbind it from that driver and bind it to the VFIO driver so the virtual machine can use it. Happens to be the same driver we want our uh, graphics card to use. But we'll get to that later. So, okay. Now, adding it to the virtual machine. Device VFIO dash PCI comma host equals okay and host equals this you just copy this no well no uh, zero 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 basically only when we are dealing with uh, files um, calling scripts stuff like that that's when we uh, add the initial four zeros in this case it's only the device identifier. So, okay. And comma bus equals PCIE dot zero. Okay. Now, this should work if we run the virtual machine right now. If I didn't make any mistakes, it should work just fine, but we want to do more than just that. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to, after we shut down the virtual machine, I will restore the USB controller. Okay, uh, this is this is just a comment. So if you skip this, doesn't doesn't do anything. The pound sign just uh, signifies a comment. Oh, <laughs> and I forgot uh, an exclamation point here. Yeah, this is separate. Okay, well, what can we do? Uh, okay, USB controller. Now, echo. This, again, we are dealing with, we are, by saying echo, and this will basically copy the string into a file. So we are dealing with files again, so we need the 0, 0, 0, 0, and we'll copy it to sys bus PCI driver VFIO dash PCI unbind okay echo exactly the same thing But uh, this one will go to a x h c i underscore h c d slash bind. Okay. Now we can uh, launch the virtual machine. Okay. So once this launches. We should hopefully have a USB mouse and keyboard. There it is. Mouse works. Keyboard should work too. If I unplug it, 
doesn't work anymore but I can plug it back in and it should work again okay you can plug in a USB card USB sound card uh, and uh, you can get audio that way so yeah that's that makes it pretty useful now let's check this let's run LSPCI Both kernel driver in use. Okay, VFIO PCI. Let's go back to our virtual machine. Let's shut it down and once that shuts down, let's run this again. <laughs> okay. Clearly, I made a mistake somewhere. Okay, so the mistake I made is right here drivers as opposed to driver. Let's run the virtual machine again. Okay. And this time we have a working mouse again. And when we shut it down, it should return back to the XHCI driver. Okay. So that would be it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.